Well, hi everybody. My name is Chrissy from AccuWeather and today we're going to make a wind vane. This is what the wind vane will look like and so how we make it, you'll need an empty soda can, soda bottle, two liters best because we want what you're going to have to do, get help from an adult and only if they're okay with that, they're going to cut out a section of the soda bottle. So you want it about an inch wide and the two liter bottle works out best because you don't want the hole to be too thin. So you're going to cut this out. Then what you'll do, you also need a string. The string should about a little over two feet, kind of like this. You'll need a hole punch. So what we're going to do, and then I'll get into the other materials that we'll need here. So what you'll do, we're going to put a hole punch about on one side, put the hole punch there. Then exactly on the other side, we'll put another hole punch. So what you'll do with this, once you have that, you're going to take your string, you're going to weave it in there, and we're going to tie a knot on each side. Basically, you want to get to as where we see with the other one that's done, is that this is going to hold so you can hang it up. I'm going to put another knot. You want to make it definitely a knot in there. So you'll do that. There's on one side, and we'll complete the other one on the other side. So once we have this, um, I'll start talking ahead to the other material that we need. And what you'll need is get a plastic tablecloth. It can be any color. Pick your favorite color if you want to get a couple colors. So you'll get that. And then what you're going to do is cut it into strips. Now these strips, no less than two feet long. And they're about an inch wide, as you can see, and then two feet long. So you're going to cut at least eight of those. So once you have them all cut, you're going to take your ring here. This is a little of the tricky part, but what you do, you fold the strip in half, you take this middle piece, put it on the inside, and then with your finger, hold that middle, wrap it back up around, put it through there, see it like that, and then pull tight, kind of pull it towards the bottom. See how it secures it? You don't need any glue. You don't need, you know, any tape. I'll show you one more time. So again, we have our strip here. Going to take it, fold it in half, take it up through the middle. Kind of the middle goes through the inside of the loop. Put your finger there. Take the other end, wrap it back up and through that middle. Pull it tight. And there you go. So you're going to keep doing that all around the ring until it'll be about seven or eight, whatever you think. And again, you can change up the colors and so till you have your wind vane. And then take it out into the wind. You can either hang it up or hold it and then just let it see. Just let it blow in the wind and it'll tell you what direction the wind is coming from. If it's light like that, the wind is light, it's going to hang low. The wind picks back up, as you can see perfect right now. It'll go high. If it's really strong, it'll look like that. So that's a simple way to make a wind vane. 